everybody, it's Gypsy, and today we are making homemade, old-fashioned noodles just like our grandmothers used to make, so stay tuned. Okay, everybody, so we're going to get started. Now, I am the type of person who I prefer homemade. I think it tastes better, I think it's healthier, all that kind of stuff. But like anybody else, I have days where I just don't feel like cooking from scratch. So what I do is when I have what I call good cooking or baking days... I will make extras of things, or I will just like today with the noodles. I'm not having anything with noodles today, but I'm making noodles, and I'm drying them, and I'm going to store them, um, you know, for a day when I don't feel like cooking, but I want noodles in whatever I'm making. So sometimes I make ahead of time. Uh, I, had, I used to have chronic illnesses. Uh, one of them being MECFS, where I was just so fatigued all the time. When I was in remission, I would stock up. On, I would just cook, and I would stock up and, and store the food so that when I was sick and I couldn't cook, it was right there. So it's just like kind of running to the store. You have your prepared food with all the poison and stuff in it, and you just pop it in the microwave or whatever. Well, this is the same thing, only you made it, and it's healthy. So anyways, we're going to get started. Now, what you need is you're going to need one large egg. You're going to need some milk. You're going to need some salt and flour. Okay. Now this recipe makes two to four servings. Okay. So we're just going to do the do one single recipe right now. I've already stored it ahead of time. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a nice large egg you're going to crack that into your bowl. You're going to save that shell for your garden. Then we need two tablespoons of milk. If you get the nice fresh milk from a local farm, non homogenized, don't forget to shake it up. Okay, now here's where my problem is I've got a, almost a full container of milk. Two tablespoons you want to put in here very carefully. Okay. So that's one, and that's two. Then you want to put in approximately a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to take this. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Alexa, stop the timer. <laughs> I forgot I had that on. Then, if you have your milk, your egg, and your salt in there, you're going to take a whisk, and you're going to whisk that together until it's nice and blended. Very simple. This is so easy to do. Okay, so you got your, you got your milk and your egg and your salt. Let me see. There we go. I'll blend it in. Now what you want to do is you want to measure out a cup of flour, all-purpose flour. So we're just going to measure that out real quick. So we're going to put this in with our egg and milk mixture. And we're going to mix it together until it's well combined and starts, you know, forming a ball. I remember when I was a kid, I loved tuna casserole. And, you know, when my mom made it, she was busy and everything. She, by the store, bought noodles. I had to go over to my grandma's. This is my Sicilian grandma. She would make tuna casserole. I remember one day she made it, and she made it with homemade noodles. I'm hearing she didn't have any packaged noodles on hand that day, and I wanted tuna casserole. So she whipped up some homemade noodles, and I never forgot that. And after she rolled it out, she was cutting it up. I can't do it. She was like a little Sicilian ninja, whoosh, 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 cutting up these noodles really quick. I cannot do that. <laughs> I can cut them up, but not like you mean. My, both my grandmothers, you get with a knife. They were like ninjas, both of them, both my German grandma and my Sicilian grandma. Woo! Those women. <laughs> they were something else. So, 
Now, if you have to use your hands to get it to stick together, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so it's it's warming together. So you're going to want to split this little tiny ball of dough in half. And you're going to make your noodles in two halves. It's just easier that way. So give me a second. I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so after you split your balls of dough in half, you are going to roll both sides out, both halves out. Now, there is no set thickness for the noodles. Whatever you prefer, okay? So if you want them thicker noodles, you know, those nice dumpling noodles, do them thicker. If you want them thinner, you roll it out. It's to your preference, okay? So after you roll them out, you're going to let your dough rest for approximately 20 minutes. So I've already done that. Um, so when you cut it, well, first of all, when you roll it out, try to get it as, you know, nice and even as you possibly can. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off my rough edges. And you want to take off as little as possible. So do your best to get it in a, you know, halfway decent uh, rectangle. So I'm just going to cut off some edges here. Okay. There. I feel like I could have done a better job with this because I'm cutting off a little bit too much, more than I would... I would like. Now, your noodles don't have to be perfect either, the shape. There are noodles, you're going to eat them. Um, so, you know, unless you're a perfectionist, in that case, I don't know, get a ruler or something. <laughs> Straight edge. Okay. So, I basically have my rough edges taken off. And then I'm just going to take a little knife like this and just Cut long strips, any width you want. You could do them real thin, you could do them thicker, whatever. Now, if you are going to eat these right away, after you cut your noodles, I'd let them, you'd let them dry, I don't know, about 30 minutes, and then you put them in boiling water and boil them for 10 minutes. Now, if you're gonna store them like me, you're gonna wanna let them dry, well, I don't know, maybe six hours, something like that. I think that's what I did the other day. Would it, it, I go by how they feel. If they're really dry, then um, I feel they're ready. Now, if you're going to um, store them and you need to dry them, you're going to have to hang them up. If you're going to eat them right away, drying them on the counter like this is just fine. But if you're going to dry them for hours for storage, you're going to want to hang them on something like a, a noodle or a pasta rack. So I'm going to show you what I am doing. Okay, everyone. So let mine dry totally. Don't have a pasta drying rack. So I rigged up my own. This is my hillbilly noodle drying rack. I do, you have to wash a hanger, you know, make sure it's clean before you start hanging your noodles on here. But it works really great. And I posted it on Facebook to show my family. <laughs> and my uncle says, hillbillies always make it work. And we do. So anyways, rig something up to dry your noodles. Homemade noodles. Oh man, I had some the other day. They are so good. So anyways, I'm going to leave you with that. Bless it be and make it a joyful one.